If you are following along with the uh, project file or want to follow along with the project file, um, we'll just kind of be going through this geometry and kind of um, sectioning it off into what the elements of Houdini that we have uh, sort of defined at the beginning of this chapter. Um, the file, the project file, if you want to follow along exactly, it can be found on my Gumroad and there's a link in the description. Um, at any rate, so let's uh, organize this now. I'm going to collapse this view and jump into camera one. And then let's go over here and just grab all of the purple nodes and hit the display flag and turn them on. It's going to take a second probably to cook the, cook the geometry, but it should show up shortly. All right, and there it is. So uh, looking at this, um, all these different quadrants have different elements in them. These first five elements, this is the poly, which is the main uh, geometry that's, that is underneath everything. Uh, that is uh, your regular polygonal geometry that we're gonna be dealing with. And then all, same as the glass. Glass is just regular uh, polygonal geometry. The paint splash is regular polygonal geometry and the pyro surface right here in the middle, this is regular polygons, and same with the cloth uh, airbags over here. So um, I'm gonna just grab these uh, five items and throw them in a net box, and we'll call these uh, polys. Uh, polys. And then uh, down here, I already have these kind of in order, but um, you can see that these two options, we've got our spline, um, our spline outlines here that are our hair splines. And then we've got our spline vortex, which is uh, this thing that's kind of um, sticking out of the side right here. So these two elements are splines. Just put a net box, just clicking this button right here to put a net box around them. Call it splines. And then um, down here, we've got our volume, our cloud volume. So you can see that right here. It's just a nice uh, VDB that we, uh, VDB cloud that I created. I'll put that in the net box and call it the volume. And then uh, these, these, the lightning and beam, these are kind of separate. I'm not really calling these elements because we already dealt with lighting. So I'm just gonna set these over here by the uh, lightning lights. And maybe I'll actually give these lights a different color so that I note that they are not like actual lights, but they're, you know, kind of uh, stylized geometry lights. So let's hit the C key and we'll maybe put a, um, you know, we'll give them maybe a yellow color, something like that. So those, and maybe we'll just put them in a net box. We'll call these geo lights. And then uh, down here we've got uh, particles. So let's bring the particles up and throw them in a net box. Say particles. And finally, our flower instances. Uh, our particles down here, these are the particles. Uh, you can see them, there's these spheres. Um, but then um, up here we've got our uh, flower instances, which are redshift proxies that were um, uh, cached to disk. So we'll uh, put a net box around this and call this instances. Nice. And I might just uh, make the uh, size of these boxes a little bit bigger so that it, it uh, gets the full name of everything because I get kind of particular about that sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's all right. Just kind of do that and get some nice boxes. Cool. And then these uh, cameras, um, let's just, uh, let's take these cameras and put them up, up here. So we get a nice row, hold down the A key and slide the mouse down, uh, click and slide the mouse down. And those will line up in a row like that. And, uh, yeah. So let's uh, focus on making some materials for our, um, airbags here.